hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name's Haley, and it is that time of year again it is time for a huge wardrobe declutter i think it's been probably over a year since i did this and it is well overdue i just feel like my wardrobe is bursting at the seams but also it's just feeling like i'm i'm working a lot I feel like I've got nothing to wear and I know I've got plenty of clothes so there's some kind of reorganization that needs to happen here <laughs> I'm gonna show you my wardrobe in a moment um, and go over the mess that it is I like I said I'm working a lot so this might take me a couple days to do so if I'm in different outfits and if things things change then that is why because I, it's not gonna happen it's like 6 p.m. on a Monday it's gonna take some time for me to do a full wardrobe makeover and declutter but let's start it because I'm in the in the starting mood and I think it's good to grab it by the reins and do it when you've got the motivation so let's get into it I'm actually so embarrassed by the state of it at the moment I don't think I've let my wardrobe get this bad in a very very long time but this shows you just how busy I have been I am super embarrassed because I never usually let my stuff kids like get like this but this is the state of it and it's definitely not good I really want to get rid of all of these hangers and transition to all wooden so that they can all be uniform I have this at the shop and it looks really nice and it feels really good and I just want my wardrobe to feel that way got so many nice pieces and they're all double hung because I just don't have enough um, or they're just not good enough I hate these ones anyway that's the situation I've got so many jackets they're like falling off these terrible hangers so a lot needs to happen also up here I've just got like bags shoved up here jump is just it's a mess and it needs help so let's let's help it Let's see what I can do. The first thing I really want to tackle is the shelving, just because this is giving me a lot of stress. So if I can just organize this a little bit better, then I'll know what I need to hang up, what hangers, how many hangers I'll need to buy. My cat's going crazy. So I'm going to do denim first. These are my favorite denim at the moment. It's the Riders um, Vintage Straight Leg. I believe they're amazing. I love them. Vintage, mid vintage wide. Mid vintage wide. They're incredible. Love them, love them, love them. Another really good one, which is like the same that Sydney Sweeney wore in the Anyone But You movie, but just a darker version, is the Rib cage, ankle straight. Um, love, love, love them. They're very like nice and just like a straight cut, which I really like. I've also got them in the same rib cage, straight ankle, but I've got them with the braid hem and they're a little bit of a lighter wash. Again, really flattering, super cute. Love them. What else do I have? This is another Levi's one. These are kind of more of like my daggy, like around the house. Got rips in them, not a huge fan. What are these? These are also ribcage ankle straight. <laughs> so you can tell that I really like this style. They are super flattering on me and my body type, um, which is great. So I've got three pairs of Levi's that are all the same, but all different. These are my A brand low waisted. These are like really baggy on me, really big. So I often use a belt or I just let them be super baggy, but love them. And they're a really light wash, which I don't have. They're the lightest wash that I have, which is really nice. This is another Riders pair. These are a bit older, wide. Um, what are these? They're the high baggy. So they're very wide leg, high waisted though. My other ones are mid rise, which I love mid rise. But these are good. A little bit of a mid wash. I've got my Jerf Avenue jeans. Um, do they have a, what they're called on them? I don't know. I would say that they're, they're high waisted, um, kind of baggy, 
as well. Don't wear them that much anymore. Have thought about selling them. Don't just don't reach for them much. Oh, these were my favorite jeans for a long time. They're the Riders High Baggy, but in a like I think it's called Fantasy Blue. I love this color and I love these jeans, but the zipper broke on them. So I don't know what to do about that. I don't really want to sell like not sell them. I don't really want to like get rid of them. I love them. I wore them all through Europe, but I think I just overwore them because I wore them so much. And because they're like a faded blue, they're starting to look like brown. The denim is looking very, not very cute. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Okay, then I've got my shorts. These are like my carpenter shorts. I just thought I'd go through denim because I'm a den denim girl and a lot of people ask me about my denim. I've got my carpenter shorts. These are just from Princess Polly do really love them. My favorite pair of shorts, which are the A brand, A brand carry short. And I wear all like 25 and 26 and pretty much everything. Um, just for reference, and these are really nice baggy shorts. Love, love, love them. Okay, this is my denim skirt. This is the Glassman's one. And it's a nice black wash. I need a black pair of jeans because I don't have any and I really like this faded color so I might look at lessons for a pair of black jeans because I really 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 like these ones. This skirt, okay this is another skirt this is perfect stranger. I do think however I'm going to get rid of it because it's just really tight on me and I'm not about that life anymore. So these are a maybe maybe goodbyes. I was not thinking of getting rid of these. Glass and shorts, it's not the best, not the best. I'm thinking about getting rid of them. So those are my maybe pile. Now I've got another pair of shorts that have got like a frayed hem, but I think they're in the wash because I've worn them recently. So I've got three pairs of denim shorts that I like rotate through quite a bit. I mainly wear the, the A brand dad short ones, but yeah, I love, love, love my denim. This is already looking so much better. What I'm going to do with this one is just pull it all out because it's just too much for me to deal with otherwise. That's kind of scary. Don't love that. And I'm just going to sort them myself because there's just too many things to go through. So I'll come back to you in a little bit. crazy because it is Pilates and my hair is a mess but I'm in the mood again tonight so I picked up a bunch of wooden coat hangers from a friend I bought them of her like 140 so I have got so many tonight I just wanted to hang up all my shirts and blouses that I, I had originally folded them on these shelves but I've decided that I want all my blouses hung up because I wear those a lot I rotate them and I did not like having them folded and wrinkly so I'm doing blouses right now and oh my gosh, just seeing this already, I can see so much more of what I have and the color palette, it just is making me so much happier. I'm loving it. So the lighting is bad because it's late at night, but like these are my Jerf Avenue, I've got more, but these are two of my Jerf Avenue breezy shirts, my Deji Studio button ups that I love, my Ruri top my boy studios top my cause this is a new one another <clears throat> rory which i love some handmade stuff all my beautiful tops and they're all just here but i can see them in the color palette i feel like if i have a pair of pants i can just go okay which blouse do i want to wear today and i'm loving that and then you pan over here this is what i was working with before so i'm just looking at like this before and it's not giving literally anything but this this is gorgeous she's stunning she's ugly and there's a lot of beautiful pieces in there there's so many that you just can't see which is really sad so i'm really happy about this this needs to have some work this is looking okay this is all pajamas so we're getting there we're making progress 
it's late at night so i'll just do what i can and then maybe tomorrow i'll actually go through some pieces and try some things on with you guys because i know that's the fun part i know that's a fun part. okay it's my day off and i'm back i'm ready to tackle this wardrobe <sighs> I'm so ready. I'm so, so ready. Let's take a look at where we are at. I think I did some late the other night, late being like 6 p.m., but this is this is what it's looking like right now. Um, a bunch of wooden hangers and this. This is what we need to work with. My thought is I'm gonna just take it all, all down and Lie on the bed, hope my cat, hope my cat doesn't go crazy over them. I'll live, you better not. Um, and then I'll just be able to sort out everything. So let's do that. Oh, oh my god, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. Okay, we've got jacks. Oh. We've got dresses and jackets. Got more. A bunch of things fell down, so that's fun. I wonder how long they've been at the bottom of my closet. Oh, I've got, got wrapping paper here. I didn't even realize. Cool. Okay. <sighs> Honestly, winded after that. <laughs> this is my bed. Now I'm going to shut the door because it's a good chance my cat will come and I don't want her to ruin all of these clothes. So I bought <laughs> all these dresses for the heiress tour that I didn't end up even wearing. So I've got like four red dresses that um, don't fit me. <laughs> so going to need to sell those. Might bring them to work and sell them. Um, that's fun. Okay, I don't even know where to start, but I guess I'm just gonna go through my dresses and start hanging things up. This is a beautiful little silky number. I wore this one in Paris. This is one of my favorite dresses. As you can tell, huge fan of royal blue. And I love this kowtow dress so much. So she's getting her own hanger. This is like a beautiful vintage dress that I got recently. I think I might put this on the sale rack at work. It's an Arnhem one, but it's just a bit too short for me. Still has its tags, really pretty, but I think I might, I think I might put this in the go to work pile. My Deji Studio little paper bag dress so good for the beach i love her i've just come across a hanger that doesn't have any hooks and i don't like that this is a really pretty yellow like linen dress but it just doesn't fit me right so i think i'm gonna put this one at work as well Another Deji Studio dress. We love her. Okay, I made a lot of progress. I hung up pretty much everything. Ran out of hangers. I've got a lot more in my car, so I'll bring them up. But wow, I didn't realize I had that many clothes like double hang, hung on hangers. Crazy. Anyway, I've decided to move a bunch of things on. Um, we've got this dress, one of the red dresses that I was gonna wear to the Eras Tour, vintage. Super cool, I feel like someone will love this. 
um, and then it'll hopefully sell. So that's fun. I've been trying to hang on to this one for a while, but I just never pick it up. I never wear it. I'd rather something else in my wardrobe. So she's going. These little overalls I've had for years. They're cute, but they're going. This orange dress. I did love this one. I wore it so much when I was in Europe, but I just feel like I've got my wear out of it. And it's still in amazing condition, but I just... I don't reach for it anymore. Like orange is not a color that I reach for. Um, this little dress, it's got buttons down the front, little denim dress, little pink dress. Um, we've got, they're all dresses, wow. This little white dress, a little white vest, um, and then the yellow linen one. And the blue one so I've got my got my goodbyes going to sell or donate now the last order of business is the top shelf which is all knitwear and jumpers I'm gonna take the actual jumpers down like my hoodies and stuff because I don't want them up there I've decided um, so yeah I'm going to take all of the knitwear down and then fold it nicely and re I think like do it in colors it's like darks whites blues because that seems to be my my color palette for knitwear so let's do it Okay, I have organized most of all my like clean jumpers at the moment. Some of them are in the wash, so there's a few holes missing, but I have a lot of knitwear and that's because I wear it all the time. I love it. Um, but yeah, this is my closet. I'm feeling so much better. These hangers have literally transformed how it looks. It's still, you know, very crowded. Um, but I feel so much better. I've just put on these new like linen curtains. They're very wrinkled because they're in my closet for ages. Um, they're just folded up so they're wrinkled but oh my gosh does that help me visually as well. Feeling so much better. That looks... Thank you so much for coming along on this huge closet clean out. I feel like we really transformed this space and I'm so so happy with how it came out I really needed that and yeah I think next is probably a little bit of a cull um I did get rid of quite a bit this time but I definitely need to like do another one in maybe six months or so just to see if anything needs to go that I'm just really not wearing um so yeah that is that's it for today Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me for more. Follow me on TikTok, Habits of Haley, Instagram, Habits of Haley, and I'll see you all very soon with a new video. See you guys very soon with a new video. Till next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.